for for war. Actually, yo, let, let me let me get a flex on the stream. Who flexes better? Who flexes better? Who flexes better? Who flexes better? Oh shoot! Oh, oh who take... flexes better? Who flexes better? Yo, hold on. He, he needs help who, with who? this. Yo. Oh, look at that. Look, look, look at that. He's, got, he's got something. Oh! No! Oh! No! oh! Damn, what a flex. Show him, guy. Oh! oh! What a flex, ladies and gentlemen. You guys can be healthy and play Smash. And these two gentlemen demonstrate it. The beautiful flexes all around. Wow. <sighs> oh, look at that. Ah. Oh. He's like, yeah, you know what? Let me just casually uh, have my hands behind my head. You know? <laughs> it's okay. Dang, these guys are. I like Cyrus though. I like how somebody <laughs> had to take off his jacket for him. Oh uh, yeah. Know? <laughs> but I like that. You know, I like I like that Con Con demonstrates good stretching form. You know, so. Uh, <laughs> but still, it's all in good fun, man. I like I like to see that they're healthy. <laughs> I like to see that they got the body, man. They, they flex the muscles, man. You get the thing about Con Con is he hides it, right? You know, he may not look like he's got it. But you saw that arm, man. Oh uh, yeah, that? I saw that arm. Yeah, that was crazy. So we'll see how what, what players. How, oh, well now we got the flex in. They got the blood flowing. All right, we're, we're, we're gonna we're gonna see how uh, how they how they get us started. They're well, well, they're they're sucking each other up. <laughs> they're sucking themselves up right now to get in. Uh, the thing here for for both players is when it comes down to stage choices altogether, how how they choose. <laughs> oh my gosh! Kong Kong's going for the. You know what it is though. You, some of you guys have seen that famous clip from MM Leo of how he sucks himself up on the oh, game. Oh right, right, right. This is this is how we see Saro and Con Con suck up for the game, man. So that's some great stuff there. I mean, uh, everyone has their own unique methods of doing it. Yeah, exactly. And sometimes, man, you gotta get that blood flowing. You gotta get your mind into the game and get ready. So now it is time for Luigi. And of course, Saro going on to pick his tag here. He's going to be, of course, picking. He does have. I've seen some of Krom, but I don't see the Krom coming out tonight for sure. It is going to be Roy. We'll see how things go in. Con Elegant, I'm sorry, Con Con gets the shake in. Elegant also has one. Let's see here, as game one between Con Con and Cyro starts here, of course. Best of three, by the way. Let's not forget that here as we move our way onto top of the This is going to be interesting because Con Con does use his aerials for spacing a lot. Mm -hmm. And Cyro as Roy has a sword which is really good for spacing. So this yeah. is gonna be and, and the type of spacing that we see Roy get is usually either as a cross up from Maritons or the the damage that is within the sword that he can use the space. Right. He is using these fireballs right now just to rack up damage without having to get too close to this sword. Because we all know Roy's sword can do a lot of damage if you get too close. Yeah, and I think that's what we see from Kong Kong here, right? He doesn't want to let Roy too close. He tries to keep up the place. I like that cross up that we see from Kong Kong after the dash tag. And Cyro for the punish attempt. He knows if I get this up there, there will be a lot of damage coming into play. That, that was a good choice of just once he landed, he just shielded and then spot dodged to try to read Cyro in any way. He's just rolling away right now. As you can see, he's just trying to stay away. He doesn't want to be anywhere near Cyro right now. Yeah. He's just running in, trying to hit his uh, side smash and just do damage, try to get the stage control. Because that's one thing that Roy does struggle with is once he is off stage, his recovery doesn't really have height. Exactly. But the one thing you have to see here, and that's what like you said, what Kong Kong knows, we talked about this before early on stream. How do you slow down a fast character or a fast player? Characters like that, you want to slow down with projectiles. And that's all we see Kong Kong constantly toss that out. He is looking to slow down Cyro to have him play his game. Cyro knows I get this one hit in and it could be Curtis. What an empty hop, what down tilt, no touch base here. But he sees that he's still got Kong Kong at the ledge. Goes for the Cyclone and it doesn't kill yet. Amazing DI coming from Cyro. I mean, I, it wouldn't have killed if it was on like Town and City, but I'm surprised that it didn't kill him. This is PS2 using that plunger to just just ledge trap. Mm -hmm. What a falling upper from the platform. Good understanding of how Kong Kong was going to be susceptible to that after the Luigi Cyclone. Kong yeah. Kong is going to have to be very careful right now when he's getting close because Roy has max rage and that is very dangerous. It's worse than Bowser max rage. I'll tell you that. Yeah, it, it could be it could be some stuff here, but you look at the Kong Kong. Look at how comfortable he feels right now. He knows Cyro still got that 192, one dash attack after that empty aerial, and that will be the stop here. 
17, not too much extra cut here from Cyro, but you still see how Kong Kong is knows I have slowed down Cyro to my game, and I have to keep that going in order to win. He goes for the down throw, the, da the dare. Oh, Nair to down smash. That's I like one. that too, and he puts him off the stage for it as well. What a play. Yeah, that was good. He got, he got minor stage control, and he also was able to just rack up damage. He didn't go for the zero to death, but it is hard to do zero to death if people are trying to hold it. Exactly, and I think that's what Kong Kong is, is counting for, is Cyro's knowledge of the character. Well, he did try to go for that fair right there. That was a good nair to just send Cyro to up to the sky oh. using the green missile. Oh, oh wait, me. what? Okay, okay, hold on. I thought that was a miss. I'm guessing it was a miss input, and then he was like, you know, maybe I can that, try to get something off of it this. Worked. <laughs> it worked. Cyro saw that there was a blood in the water. He had no pool floaties. He said, let him drown. I might as well send him out there. Oh, man. Good patience, though. No hit, no attempt error. He knows he's out of the space. Let me just hold the stage here and see what I can get here. Steven stocks here three minutes on the board and counting for those 20 seconds. I feel like if Con, if he if he knew Con Con could have made it back, I feel like he would have started trying to go for the down tilt to try to two frame him. Yeah. Goes for the jab to just get Cyro in disadvantage. Another jab. Maybe he's trying to go for a back air here. Maybe a spike. Ooh, just missing that upper. That was a good parry with the back air. Getting hit by that that uh, that blade dance. Yeah, double edge dance is a really good way to, for Roy to rack up damage, but also get kills as well. And it's, so to speak, cross slash was out the limit. Yeah. <laughs> and even then, it's still uh, more powerful. Tech Chase, what a play. What a play to get the read there. And oh my goodness. Three uppers a day, man, will keep Luigi away. And that goes to show how Cyro is so good with that. Oh, what a oh, play. Oh, wow. Con Con using the plunger to his advantage. He's trying to go for this. The, he's waiting for that initial getup. Oh, yeah. Ja yeah, jab to fair is true at high percent. Yeah, I don't like that. Oh, that's man. And that's, that's oh, good for him to toss rough. out that threat because he's looking to see how he can force Con Con to change his recovery options, his recovery angles. And for him to still demonstrate, okay, I will go out there for you. Con Con wanted to avoid that and be in avoiding that he lost the sock. The one. Thing that kind of sucks about Luigi is like he it's it's hard for him to mix up his choice to get back up the stage because all he has is green missile and his cycle recovery and that's why you see a lot of Luigi's land with cycle and the fact that they got rid of Luigi's uh, rising cyclone it makes it's made it a lot harder for Luigi players to play now. Oh, thank God. I am not a fan of this character, but I'm telling you that. That is my bias. Con Con using the fair to the Nair. Just getting his arrows and racking up this damage. No way. Oh, oh. let's go, Con Con. Just going on. He's popping off right now. Your boy's like, okay, I got to get my head into this game. And he's definitely using that edge guarding and his aerials to, to his advantage because he knows Roy does not have height whatsoever. In the green missile to get back to stage, jump to the uh, recovery. I like that attempt there. It goes for the side special, the double edge dance one from the platform, knowing the spacing that he is already from Luigi, but trying to psych him out. Knowing, okay, if Luigi's caught in an aerial like so, or any situation, I can't get the stock for him. And that's why we see Cyro still make the attempt at the ledge. Even stocks, even though Cloudcard has such an early lead. Now from I, can, the game. I can see from Cyro that Cyro's playing a lot more aggressive than last game. Because he knows that Con Con does not want him anywhere near him, so he's trying to use these fireballs as much as possible. But Cyro is just trying to get up as much as close to, in person as possible, while Con Con is just running away. That was a good choice of the buffer near out of shield just to get Cyro out, out of the way. Using nice. these plungers. Saves the jump there, no air dodge just to get back on the stage, and he sees how Luigi is. Already with those plungers. Cyro 107, 119. Con Con's controlling the pace of the game here. Linair, but no back air as Cyro makes an attempt here. What a hot way to come back. All right, uses the back throw and using the fireballs to just rack up that damage because if he wants that back throw to work, I think it'll work at this percentage if he goes for it one more time. Yeah, 138, something's got to give, man. That back air might be a good way. Even if it doesn't work, it's the fact that you send your opponent off the stage reset the stage control for you and your opponent now has to try to land oh, oh almost kind of getting thing. hit by that last one that back throw is going to kill though now con con's just got to rack up 
<laughs> Cyrus damage because if he doesn't, it's going to be a lot harder for him due to Roy oh, having okay. that high attack output. Yes. The okay. No back air. Oh, oh to play down the throw. Luigi combos. No. No, that's oh. it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh, it is, oh. It is. He was one more chop away from getting that. Con -con. Yo, let's go, Con Con. The edge guards here. I like that. Using that down tilt, using that sticky nair. You know how long that lasts? He's oh, so close with it. Yeah, he's using these fairs a lot. It's a fast, it's a fast move, and it does a good about seven to eight percent. Right. Okay. No tornado. I was gonna say we might have no tornado here, but ooh, Cyro on the landing up right here. Cyro 107 Con Con on the fresh stock. What's the play here? The crowd, if in silence, we're gonna see who takes this one. It's gonna be Cyro with a two or Con Con putting on game three. Getting hit with by the up air, just missing that up smash. He is going to use these fireballs and more plungers. Yeah. Even if back throw is still, like I said, look at how much it gives Con Con the ability to hold the control and establish these edge guards that he's getting here. Tornado oh, Cyclone that. is going to kill. Yeah, and Con Con putting up one on the board here. Game three. Game three, ladies and gentlemen, Con Con, just like K9, man, he wants to be out there. He's out here to show the younger players, like, hey, man, I'm still out here. Oh, man, that was, that was, that was intense. That was very intense. Go. As you can see, Con Con is now adapted. Yeah, it's the pace of the game, man. It's the way that, like I said, it's the way that you're seeing Con Con forcing Cyro and Roy into a pace that he is more comfortable at playing with. He's able to use that fireball. He's able to use that plunger. He's able to use that nair. He's able to slow down Cyro into playing paste. And we see Cyro, he was able to do it the first game. And now we see him trying to do it in the second game. And Kong Kong was able to take control of it. But you want to know the secret to a healthy mind and a healthy player, ladies and gentlemen? It is that water. It is that H2O, man. Soda tastes good, man. But sometimes a healthy body is a healthy mind. And that goes to show being healthy in the game, man, gets you pretty far. So definitely drink that water, man. It is healthy for you, and it's summer. It's summer, man. It gets hot. Oh yeah, it gets hydrated. hot down here in water, the West Coast. Yeah, water. It is the best nutrient for you, man. And, and the best part about it, it's got zero calories. So if you're watching that weight, if you're on that diet, water is good. And it's free at most restaurants, man. I've never been to a restaurant where they charge you water. Oh yeah, you could just sometimes you could just go to your lo local Starbucks. Like, can I have a water? Oh yeah, that's the dude. Starbucks water, go to. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. So it hits different it, for it some does. reason. It really does, man. All right, we'll see if game three here between these players will hit different or not. As this is the last game between these two, as one of them will move on to the higher side of the bracket. This time we're going PS2. Oh, getting hit by that back air. Nice jab to just r rack up the damage a little bit more. Using these fireballs to just get Syrah off him. He does not want to be anywhere near Syrah, as you can see. He's just running away and running back towards Syro. Oh, barely, just, oh. that was, barely missed that back Oh air. no, and he barely missed the neutral air too, going for an empty hop afterwards. He wanted to see what he could get from that jab afterwards. No ledge jump there coming up for Syro as Kong Kong is able to take some damage against them, but no hit, no confirm into a forward match. Getting hit by that up air though, and another one. Oh, we're seeing another one, okay. Kong Kong right now has really got to get out of this. Yeah, a little bit of a juggle situation that you see coming up from Cyro against Con Con. Only the two hits. I oh. like that. He stops the third hit, waits for the panic. And what's the panic? The air dodge. And Cyro with that up tilt. Okay, he's trying to go for these up air. Okay, that was a good choice to just pressure, pressure Cyro of j just uh, shield poking with that back air. Using that nair out of shield. Oh, he did try to go for that Cyclone. That was, a, that was very risky. And I like that from Con Con. He sees, you know what, Cyro, you're so comfortable in the air. Here, have a Cyclone. Let me see how you feel about it. He is using that plunger once again. More projectiles. Yeah, he he definitely has to use these projectiles to his advantage to just rack up damage without having to put himself at too much risk. Con Con using the green missile to get back to stage. Okay. And the up smash the back of Luigi's head is stronger than the front. That's the crazy part, man. That, that, Luigi really wants that head back for that up smash, but it's got such an arc. And then some people do wonder why Mario doesn't have it, but why do, do Mario players do it? It's because that's the that's the first hitbox out of the entire thing. Exactly. And that hitbox can be very important in a lot of situations, especially if we see it from Con Con here. But I like that from Cyro, looking to just try to slowly catch up with the juggle here. Con Con steals his back with a landing cyclone. 
Oh, Ooh. side B. Yeah. Yes, oh. side B. It's it's, 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 it's rough, too, because you see Kong Kong trying to set up that wall for good reason. He wants to slow Cyro back down. But you can see Sly Cyro's mental game, that pace that he has gone alongside with Kong Kong. He has learned it. You can see that Kong Kong is playing a lot more aggressive now. He's coming towards Cyro, and it looks like at the moment he's playing Cyro's game. Now, and now the rolls of reverse here. Kong Kong is able to get that back throw. It gets the back here. That's there. That's there. No down there. You can see if he got it. That would have been the stop. I like that. Look at the way he's letting go of ledge a little bit. That preemptive. Okay, let me give you some space. Never mind. Let Let's me give go. you the cyclone. Okay, the cyclone. Yeah, he's definitely trying to tempt Cyro. Of just come on, come on the stage. It's safe. Just kidding. Yeah, Con Con gets up from his seat here. That's an up smash. Con Con has to watch his landing here. Narrowly getting back on the stage. Got yeah, center. He has to be a lot more patient now. But I mean, Cyro could just. Time him out, so he does have to play this bait and punish game oh. where Cyro just tries to go for a kill, but he has to just be the most cautious that he can. Using that green green missile to the recovery. Oh, I was going to say, watch out for the jab there. I like that green missile, though, but the recovery, no misfire. Watch the get up here. Kon Kon has to be, like you said, patient. Patience is a virtue, and it will reward Kon Kon if he's able to stay patient. 150. Now, Kon Kon does have max rage, so he can use that to his advantage to try to get an early er kill. Oh, I was going to say, Cyro, not like that. That was going to be a good read if Kon Kon made aerial play. 162. Kon Kon using green missile to get back to stage, and using that double jump with his recovery. Kon Kon trying to stay on ledge, goes for the dash attack. He's using his fireballs now, trying to stay away. He. This, ladies and gentlemen, is clutch or click for Kong Kong. And, and it's slowly becoming the same situation for Cyro. Oh, and that he... turnaround up B is going to do it. Mm -hmm. And he sees that cross up, man. That dash attack is not safe. You got to give Kong Kong the commitment, though. He knows if I was able to get it, this would push me to have more against Cyro. But the right. shield was not low enough. It can shield poke if you're angling the shield wrongly or if the shield is that small enough. But unfortunately, man, Saru had a healthy shield and a healthy mind and a healthy patience. He was able to adapt to Kon Kon's game. That was a very close match. Yeah, that was a very wow. close match indeed, man. And that'll be going to Saru, man. Able to show that he is still holding it up against players like Kon Kon, who pretty much put up the game three, man. Kon Kon, like I said, he's been always been one of those strong players who can put out a game three.